Good morning, everyone, and welcome to chapel. Today is a great day because we are here to hear God's word and sing his praise. Our chapel message today is going to come from our own, very own Miss T, and she is going to share something with you that you will have to wait and see. Uh, we are going to begin this morning by praising the Lord in many, many, many different ways. Your job is simply to follow instructions. Will you please stay seated? Spirit. Through baptism, we are rooted, built up, and established in God's kingdom. As God's children, we confess the sins of the at rule. We have committed the thoughts, words, and actions we have done, and those we have failed to do. Our sin separates us from God, and there is nothing we can do to earn, earn our salvation. Do you not know that all of us who have been baptized into Christ Jesus were baptized into, de into his death? For we have been united with him in his death like this, like his. We shall certainly be united with him in his resurrection like his. Through Christ, sin and death have been defeated. Our sins are forgiven, and we are forgiven new life. We are given new life to live forever.
something. Pause for a second. I'll redo the poem here in a second. At the end of your guys' rows, you might as well look at a sand dollar, right? While I talk about it. Can you hand these down? There should be about five in every row. I'm jumping ahead of myself, aren't I? Hold up your little sand dollars. Close your mouths. Hold up your sand dollar. Close. 
Hold your mouth, hold up your sand dollar. Okay, I want you to look at this sand dollar as I say this poem, okay? I'm gonna restart from the beginning. Here we go, listen up. There's a pretty little legend that I would like to tell of the birth and death of Jesus found in this lowly shell. If you examine it closely, you'll see that you find here four nail holes and a fifth one made by a Roman sphere. Do you see that? The four nails and the fifth one? On one side, the Easter lily. And at its center is the star that appeared unto the shepherds and led them from afar. The Christmas poncetta etched on the other side reminds us of his birthday our happy Christmas tide. Now, if you break the center open, and here you will release five white doves awaiting to spread God's will and peace. This simple little symbol Christ left for you and me to help us spread his gospel through all eternity. So looking at that little sand dollar, do you guys see those four nail holes, right? Those four nail holes that are in his hands and his feet? And that fifth one was that spear, the Roman shoved into Jesus' side, right on the cross? Now think about that filtering, the cleaning of the seawater. Doesn't Jesus cleanse you from all your sins? Does him, he forgive you every little thing you done, have done wrong? The last little thing I want you to focus on, and I know your little pictures don't have this, but the five little doves. If you ever have the opportunity to have a little sand dollar and you break it open, think about those doves, right? That's the spirit that is constantly around us, that surrounds us, that's in us, and works through us. And I want you to remember to spread Jesus' love, his forgiveness, and his hope to everyone around you. Can you fold your hands? Dear Heavenly Father, I'll repeat after me. Dear Heavenly Father, Remind me, Remind me to see you in everything, from the smallest to the largest, even in a shell, you show me your love and forgiveness. Amen. Thank you, Ms. T, for sharing the story of the sand dollar with us. We are going to move on to our offering. We are in the month of September. Therefore, we have a specific offering designation. Where are our offerings going in the month of September? A nice, loud voice, Kyler. Kinsley Werner is going and spreading the gospel of Jesus to people on the other side of the world in India. And our offering money is going to go help her uh, do that. Acolytes and ushers, will you please come forward? And while the offering is being collected, we are going to sing.
Visit, O Lord, the homes in which our people dwell and keep all harm and danger far from us. Grant that we may live together in peace under our protection and share eternally in your blessings. Send us out to share with others your presence and the, and the joy you give. That abounding in praise and thanksgiving, we trust in your promises. Lord, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our Father. morning prayer. I thank you. Let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts and be thankful. Christ, 
Let the word of Christ dwell in you, in you richly. And whatever you do in word or deed, do everything in the name of the Lord Jesus. May God the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit bless our days in his peace. You may have a seat. Tucker, nice job. Very good. Uh, thank you to the people in the back who I can't see all of them. Looks like Hunter's hair hanging over. Yep. And Daisy and Ginger, Hutton ladies. And for all of our student leaders today, help me thank them for stepping up. Oh, and let's throw Miss T in there too for the message with uh, the sand dollar. Help me thank them for leading us today. ST! Um, I have two announcements. Uh, first one, there's something going on this week. Actually, there's two things going on this weekend. What's one of the things going on this weekend? Parker, do you know? Harvest Carnival. Anybody been to Poppy's Pumpkin Patch before? Anybody? Couple? Everybody? Okay. Uh, this Sunday is the Harvest Carnival Poppy's Pumpkin Patch. And so uh, you're all invited to come. It'll be one big St. John party out there. That'll be pretty cool. Um, otherwise, my other announcement, if you are in volleyball, can you please stand up? Please stand up. Volleyball players, is that it? Is that it? Wow. Uh, these are all our volleyball players. They're uh, showing God's love on the court this year. Um, so not just um, here in this building, but when you win and when you lose, you can be a gracious winner. Or if you lose, you can be a good sport, and you can still point to Jesus in everything that you do. Um, if you're in 7th and 8th grade, please stay standing. The rest of you can sit down. Something else is going on this weekend. Uh, just volleyball players. Something else is going on this weekend for the volleyball players. What's going on, ladies? What? They have a home volleyball tournament. This is the only one this year, right, for volleyball? Last year, we didn't get to play any volleyball games here at St. John, and this year, we get to, and that's awesome. So far, I need you guys to hold up one hand for me, and with all of your fingers, show me how many games you guys have lost so far this year. So far, they're undefeated, and they have a home tournament this weekend, so you can come cheer them on on Saturday here at home. Good job, ladies. You can have a seat. Then I had a bunch of students who were caught showing how they are rooted in Christ. Hazel Lyon, please come up for picking up litter outside. Everly Wolken for picking up trash in the lunchroom. Sawyer Wolken for picking up litter. Aisley Krieger for picking up litter outside. Barrett Preiner for complimenting a friend. Ashlyn Smutney for complimenting a friend. Aria Haney for fixing Mrs. Erickson's bean bags. Ezra Weber for bringing her teacher a treat. The whole kindergarten class, I'm just going to have you stand up, kindergarten class, for cheering for each other during a game. Kindergarten class, where are you at? I can't see you standing up. You guys better come up. I changed my mind. Come on up. Austin Utchin for always stepping up to help clean and organize. Everly Wolken for always stepping up to help others. Up two. William Staub for having a good attitude even when he doesn't get what he wants. In kindergarten class, I just have one big one that you guys can share. So you guys can, uh, oh, 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 let me see that one. That's got the wrong name on it. Sorry, that one. Kindergarten class, come on up, come on up. Kyra Rodden for taking care of his friends. Theo Kolbaum. For telling the truth, even when it's hard. You knew that was coming, didn't you? Trace and Krieger for helping others. Bella Huntley for cleaning, cleaning up water bottle disaster. Water, cleaning up water locker disaster. All right, Trace. Walker Uncle for leading by example. And Casey Regal for leading by example. Walker and Casey coming up. All right. Good job, guys. 
Phil, I'm gonna need you to scrunch in there a little bit. Help me thank all these students. S.T. Good job, guys. Can we please have our acolytes and ushers come on up?